as I've said before in, in a couple videos, I am not the, the biggest horror game guy. Welcome back everyone to Caged Gage. As you can see, I am going to be starting the first series of Seven Days to Die. Just looking around, surveying our area. Alright, so we got a couple of these beginner quests here. Let's go ahead and get those done really quick get four quests I believe and then it it unlocks the route to a trader um, and it gets you some basic things shows you how to craft a frame bedroll uh, a club an axe all right so let's go on to our inventory craft this bedroll right. place it down and we can actually pick it back up, which we will. Alright. So now we need to gather some wood and some small stones in order to make our pickaxe. There we go. Of course, everything starting out is going to be a level 1. Because um, we're just beginning, so... Now, I haven't played much of this. I did open a map just so that I wouldn't... I'd know some of the basics. As you can see, I'm still still kind of getting used to it. But that's okay. Everything's a learning experience. And who knows, it might be a little bit more fun to watch me walk around and struggle. These plant fibers really give me an issue sometimes. I'm going to go ahead and graft the, craft the um, other plant fiber items as well. Uh, hood, the shoes, and the gloves. The gloves get done. Alright, so now we have at least a little bit of protection. Need to craft a wooden club. And so in this series, I don't think that I will be playing uh, permanent death. Because I am so new to the game, um, that could end up being an extremely short series. So I think we'll we'll roll with it, see uh, see how far we can get, and uh, and go with there. And if at some time it it feels like it's the right time to end the series, then then we'll end it there. Or if uh, we have some other ideas on what we want to do as far as a series, then we can go ahead and do that as well. Um, but I don't think, I don't think permadeath would be the answer. Not right off the bat, at least. Uh, we'll craft 10 frames. We only need to craft one, but go ahead and bring these down. Gotta upgrade it. Right, back together in some stone. So yeah, I'm just gonna get these these couple of quests here done. That way we we get a little bit of a XP at the very beginning, unlock and be able to unlock some of our skill points on the skill tree. So that unlocked the trader off in that direction. Let's see just how far we are. Eh, not that bad. 
Hopefully it'll take us out of... I think this is the burnt forest. Before we go there, we're gonna loot some. Nothing. Coin purse. Take all of that too. Scrap the trophy for the brass. I'm not sure if I want to go with a club or a sledge here, but we'll go ahead and get both of them going. And then it'll really depend on, you know, where our, our loot goes. I think at first we'll probably start with our club. And uh, let's go see what we can find in this house really quick before we go off looking for the trader. Anybody home? Woke somebody up. You in here? Beating down something. Nope. Alright, so first floor looks okay. Oh, they just broke out of somewhere. Nope. 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 Go ahead. All right, she's dead. So we got some scrap leg armor. We're going to wear that. We're going to bring down this level 2 stone spear. Scrap the level 1 for the stone back. And let's head upstairs and see if we can't get into this room. Alright, let's see if we can't make this. Medical supplies. These boots have to be better than our current ones, and they are. Do that, scrap these. Ball cap mod. All right, let's see if we can't put that on our clothes. All right, not on that one apparently. We'll hang on to that though, because we're bound to find something that we can put that on. More duct tape. That's awesome. Alright, let's get out of here. Be looking for some bird nests on our way as well. Pretty much just anything we can search. I'm hoping this trader is by a town somewhere. Um, you know what, we'll go the road. So, so we can search some cars and stuff on the way. Some of this trash on the way as well. But I'm hoping this trader is near a, uh, near a town. Oh, we got a crawler. Come on. Nope! Oh. Gotta love it when you miss. Ah, I brought it back. I knew that chicken was working with somebody. Let's see if I better look hitting this guy. 
<laughs> kinda. Oh, he's mad. Let's finish him off. That's what I thought. Hit you again, just for good measure. You know, the random baby screams could, like, really not be a thing. Come here, fire guy. Nope! Ugh. Of course, I'm my own worst enemy. You did. Murky water. Nothing else. Alright. Oh. Cooking pot. Awesome. Big fella. Alright. Let's see if we can break into this safe really quick. How many lockpicks do we have? Five. Hopefully that'll be enough. Four. Yes. Awesome. And a whole lot of nothing. Let's go ahead in this nice safe spot and assign some... <laughs> some perks. Uh, I'm gonna go sexual Tyrannosaurus. And... Skull Crusher. Gonna put a point into Intellect. So that we can go into advanced, advanced Engineering. Start putting points in there. So those are our four points that we got from completing those quests at the very beginning. <laughs> Gotta love the subtle transitions. Just how crappy and dull this is and then it's like... I guess the grass is greener on the other side. I swear to god that bunny's ass just moved when I hit it with the spear. Come on. This game just hates me with projectiles. Get in here. Is this working? Nope, destroyed. Well, we got some animal fat, though. You know what? Before we encumber ourselves anymore, let's go up here, sell some crap to this guy. We sell only the best merchandise. How's it going, Trader Joel? All right, let's see what we can get rid of. Let's sell that. Sell him this paper. He doesn't want the paper, though. He don't want the coffee beans, either. He don't want much of nothing we got. That's okay. Um, rotten flesh? About to say he don't want that. <laughs> Let's see what he has, though. I know we only have 83 coin, but... Give us something to go for. Like he don't have much of nothing. Let's check his secret stash here. Oh, iron pickaxe. That'd be nice, but it's gonna be a little while before we can get that. And a pistol, level three pistol. Awesome. All right. You come back sometime. Uh, I might. Oh, a mixer schematic. That is super. Oh, did not mean to punch that. 
super useful. Oh, but we have a forge schematic. Oh. You know, normally I'd be super happy about that, but we just unlocked that. Hello, beautiful. Close that. You did? Okay, good. Oh. Damn buzzard. Hey, darling. What do we got in here? You saw nothing. Weapons bag, gun gun? Nope! No. Did yet? Nope. Damn, big boy can take a hit. I see you try and get that cheeky hit back on me right right before you died, you jerk. At least he was nice enough to drop a loot bag. Go ahead and get a storage crate crafted. Because I think I've decided that this is definitely the place that we're holding down the horde tonight. Go ahead and get this place down. And once we're done, we can move move everything back in. Um, we can move everything inside, but I just want to get this stuff out of our inventory for right now so that we're not so darn encumbered. Alright, let's get inside. Oh, God! Where the hell did you come from? Jesus Christ. You scared the shit out of me. Alright. Let's go let's go ahead and uh eat some stuff. Get get our health going back up. Drink some water, too. This will be a little bit more interesting now, I think. stay right there oh man I was th sorry about your girlfriend hey that's how you get up it's just outside all right nothing over here to search that's fine Got a little bit of medical supplies you know what let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> and use this get some health back up. Luckily we haven't become infected yet, but we do have a couple things of honey. Uh, as long as it's the early stages of infection, we'll be fine. Not gonna wear those. And... Mm, I'll just... I'll think on that one. We'll probably leave that alone. I don't really plan on going going fists in this series. I'm nowhere near skilled enough for that. Yeah, I killed your twin cousin upstairs, too. Twin cousin, Jesus. Oh, I'm out of 
the stamina for everything. We'll do this. There we go. Just in time. Oh, thank you. Lucky looter goggles. I'll definitely wear those. Hopefully we can find some type of gun down here. Workbench is destroyed. Wonderful. Alright, so this is the end of the house, the, the way we're supposed to exit. But, uh... Like I said before, I plan on staying here a little while. Getting our bearings down. But I am going to place a couple of frames there. Just so we're secure, because I don't have any uh, concrete to repair or upgrade the blocks that are broken out in the foundation of the house. So we'll just throw some blocks there, seal that place off so nothing creeps up the stairs behind us, and uh, go from there. Alright, let's see what's in the workbench. I'll take it. Plug here. Alright, got some glue. I'll take it. More coal. Would have really loved to have found a flashlight mod. I guess it wasn't in the cards. Let's see what we got behind this panel here. found our lucky looter goggles before we got here. So what do we got? More glue? Some oil? I'll take it. 7.62 and shotgun shells. Always a good thing to have. Oh, didn't mean to do that. It's like two shotgun side uh, crates rather. Gotta be better than what I'm currently wearing, right? Minus some stamina, mobility, noise increase. Mm. We'll think about that. Those are a lot of negatives for not so many positives. pocket mod. Cool, we'll take all that. Do we have anything to put that on right now? Well, we could probably put that on this, right? Yes, we can. Awesome. Alright. Scrap that, scrap that. Thing. What was she hiding back here? Not much of nothing. Alright, let's get back upstairs. Let's see if we missed anything. We're looting through here. Yep, fridge. I believe he interrupted us before we got the, the sink done. Oh, another cooking pot. Might be able to sell that second one to the trader. Or just keep it. I mean, K. 
cabinets up here anywhere. Alright. Alright, so. Let's go ahead. Get another one of these crafting. Cancel all that. Craft this. Alright. Let's go ahead and put our land claim block down as well. Do that right, right there. <laughs> Never mind me, I'm an idiot. Alright, well while we wait for that to craft, we'll go out here. Grab the rest of our crap. Well, what do we need to craft a forge, actually? So we need more stone, some clay soil. I think we have three duct tape, and we might have the pipes. Alright, so we definitely have the duct tape. Uh, clay soil is easy enough to get. But it looks like we're going to be short on the pipes. Alright, it is now officially night time. Alright guys, well I think I'm going to leave this one here for right now. I'm going to slowly knock this block away. So that we can start an underground mine. Uh, just so we can get some resources and stuff at night uh, just for a little bit you know something to do while I'm waiting for sun to rise um, so I think I'm gonna leave it here wanna take the time and thank you guys for coming out and watching our first episode of seven days to die uh, in the next episode I wanna venture out loot some more places and see if we can't get those pipes for our forge going that way we can start crafting forged iron and it's really going to open up the rest of the stuff we need. Um, if something happens tonight, we get a zombie knocking at the door, we'll, we'll come back. But if not, uh, I'm going to leave you with this one. So if you guys like this video, you know, drop me a like. Uh, leave a comment for any tips or tricks that you have as far as 7 Days to Die, things you'd like, like me to do places you would like me to visit or if I missed any loot and I can go back and grab um, like I said I'm fairly new to the game so no shame in, in taking up some advice also if you're not followed on my Instagram account run over there it's at caged underscore gauge on Instagram and at caged gauge all one word on Facebook well, that's where I'll be announcing some different things like the fact that in between episodes, we got a sponsor, Swift Lifestyles. Uh, they're an energy, lifestyle, and nutrition-based company. They sell different vitamins and uh, some energy drinks for us gamers out there. Uh, clean products, and they're designed to promote brain health. Go ahead and check out their website, swiftlifestyles.com. Use promo code CAGEDGAGE at checkout to receive 15% off. I'll have the link it down in the description. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell so you never miss, the, miss an upload from me. And I will see you in the next one.